What's up everybody? This is Nick with Weikert Realtors. Today we are in the southwest area of town at a model called the Olivia that features five bedrooms, five baths. That's over 4,300 square foot. So let's go ahead and take a look at today's tour. Right in the front area we have a nice patio cover. This is great for lounging. You also have a three car garage and this is brick pavers below. So coming inside now, we have tons of warm colors, very direct and to the point, entering right away to your TV room setup. We have a couch with two sitting chairs in the, on the left side with an electric fireplace and TV setup. I love how when you first walk in, this is kind of all right here with your formal dining area or dining space. You have a closet that's also right across on this hallway stretch. But right away, this is lots of space. We have a nice textured design up here that breaks up this room from, from that room over there. We have lots of windows too to bring in the lighting and all the colors are nice and warm and match. So that is the first half of the downstairs. We then have our staircase that brings us to the second floor that we'll check out in a couple minutes here. If I flip over, this branches off into two sides. This one brings us to the main living quarters and kitchen. This one will go down here first, bringing us to um, a second wing. So we have the spare bath that's down here. And then we have a walk-in bar set up here. So you have your mini fridge below, your sink, some cabinets right here for some storage. And then we have a nice uh, bar sitting space that overlooks your main living area and kitchen. You could probably add a door here too if you really want it or some type of eaves or whatever to kind of break it up more. But I love how this is very direct, very uh, just walk in. And then we have another closet right here. Overall, this is a great addition, especially nice and convenient to the living space. You can swing in here, make some drinks, and enjoy the TV. So on the other side of the hall, this is your washer and dryer room set up with access to your three-car garage. Nice space, cabinets above, and then a counter space. And then all the way at this far corner, this would be a second uh, master suite or primary suite. We'll go in here first. This is to the left. We have a huge bathroom, dual sinks, cabinets below, very large mirror that stretches across, and then a freestanding tub right in the middle with your walk-in shower. This, uh, this bathroom is huge. I mean, this, this bathtub alone is very massive. It's not too much in the way though, and it's nice and close to the stand-up shower. We have one side with your standard faucet and then the other one having the hose attachment. There's your water room and then the walk-in closet to the left here with some built-in shelves to elevation. Overall, very large bathroom design. Now coming into this bedroom, we have a king-sized bed with nightstands to the left and right. Overall, this room is very spacious, very open. This, room give, this wall gives you enough room to put a larger TV and dresser if you want. And the best part is this gives you direct access to your backyard. So you see the backyard set up here on this model is very simple, um, but I love how this gives you the direct access. This would be great for a guest quarters, secondary primary suite. It's nice and private with its out, own outdoor access to and all the way down the hall. So you're very uh, secluded off. So coming back down this hallway now, we're gonna go dive into the main living quarters. Very open. Right away, we have your living room to the right this would be your main TV space. I mean, it's totally up to you which one you want to utilize more, but you do have two options to choose from. So this one is more convenient because it's next to the kitchen and bar setup. But you have the electric fireplace again with the TV above, relatively same size space. So it's totally up to you which, uh, which room you want to make what. Now on the other side, this is the kitchen, very open kitchen. You have a large island in the center with room for six people to sit. Warm cabinets throughout and counter space. 
We have stainless steel appliances throughout as well. Very large stainless steel sink that overlooks the backyard setup. We have your oven below here with the microwave cut into the wall and pushed in with a uh, tiled white accent wall. This really makes the other color, warmer colors pop with this cooler white behind. And then we have your four burner stove top with another oven. And then this gives you a lot of space all around to put in your cooking utensils or storage. And then a very open window with your hood vent above and lighting. Love this design on these models. It just really breaks up this typically tight space for when you're cooking to kind of give you more air to breathe in, more light and uh, more storage all around you. Now on the back wall, we have a coffee bar area. This would be nice to set up your espresso machine, coffee machine to start your morning. And then we have the huge stainless steel fridge and freezer setup. Wrapping back around in this corner is your walk-in pantry here, kind of on an angle that is slanted right below the staircase, but overall, lots of room. So that wraps it up for the downstairs area. You have your outdoor access, your open kitchen that flows right into the secondary living space or first living space. You have your at-home bar. And then this is the hallway again that brings you to the spare bathroom, bar entrance, washer and dryer room, and then that other secondary suite downstairs. Before we head upstairs again, this is your formal dining space, and then that is a secondary living room as well. So now we're going to head up these stairs to check out the remainder of the bedrooms. And the best part about the second floor is this has a very massive loft setup which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. It's currently set up with a pool table, some sitting space. This is definitely the perfect setup for that for entertaining. You have another couch set up with an electric fireplace and TV. This is definitely a loft that you could utilize for entertainment uses. I mean, you could have your pool table here while everyone's relaxing, having some drinks, enjoying a TV show, or uh, getting warm with the fireplace. And a loft on this size too is hard to come by and especially on a new build, it's just uh, the best of both worlds here. So coming to this hallway, this is where the remainder of the bedrooms will be. To the left, this is the hall bath with your vanity set up and walk in stand up shower. And this Jack and Jill's to one of the spare bedrooms here. So very open bedroom, lots of space, two windows on the back wall, and then you have a walk-in closet in here as well. If we come back to where this bathroom is right across, this is the primary suite on the second floor. So this is a king size bed, you have a couch and lounging chair, and you still have so much space all the way throughout, giving you tons of ideas to customize this room however you'd like. Now coming through here is the bathroom up here. We have a stand-up shower that just hugs this whole wall here. It's kind of on a two elevation with a step up in. Then you have the hose attachment as well. Your water room is right here nice and sectioned off. And then right across is the walk-in closet. Built-in shelves and drawers perfect for hanging up a lot of stuff. And then you have the warmer color cabinets with the dual vanity and mirror setup. Between this and the one downstairs, this is uh, great again for guests or people that need to have their primary suite downstairs that accommodates those needs. So at the far end of this hallway, we are just in this bedroom. So we have two more to look at. And then you have right in the middle, the spare bathroom again, dual sinks. You have the bathtub and stand up shower setup, And then the water room in the corner here. We're gonna check out this room first. This one's currently set up empty, but again, not a standard size room. This gives you a lot of space and it also has that walk-in closet. This room is facing 
the backyard here. Two-tone colored walls. And that leaves us off for the final bedroom, which is a little different from the other ones. It still has the walk-in closet here to the right. But when it opens up, it's about the same size as the others, but this one has a private balcony. This overlooks the front yard here. So this is nice, private, sectioned off from all the other bedrooms. And this is the only room that has this nice balcony set up. So that's a great addition to add to a spare bedroom. So that wraps it up for the second floor here. All the bedrooms are covered. We have the beautiful loft space again coming down these stairs. So if you'd like to come check out this property in person, find my contact information in the description below. We could get you set up with a private showing to uh, see how everything feels in person. If there's any other questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know or leave it in the comments down below. I also have a main channel I'll link in the description of this video showing mansion tours here in Las Vegas. So if you'd like to check that out as well, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, leave a like, comment what you thought of this model, and subscribe for weekly property tours.